Uh, tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Actually, it's Christmas Eve today. It's a little after 12. I'm up here in the mountains. About 9 o'clock, I got the bug to come up here. Packed my pack. Minus a tent. It's supposed to rain tonight or tomorrow. The fog's really coming in. Um, I can't really see anything over to the north. I can hear a coyote howling up in the distance. But uh, I didn't bring a tent. I'm going to show you an overnight in a natural shelter. I'm going to walk in and find a cave to spend the night. That's the plan anyway. Hopefully I can find a cave with some vacancy and not a bear in it. easy to let yourself get freaked out hiking at night solo okay here's a cave actually it's an old gold mine hey bear hey bear I don't want to sleep bear come running in or out Hey bear! Oh, it's kind of freaky. Hang on, let's pack off. That's all I brought. My sog soup up. That's all I brought. Hey bear! No. Okay. I think I'll sleep right here. Just clear this up. Home for the night. Whew. I want to be near the mouth. Because if there's some bad air back there, I don't want to go to sleep and not wake up. I want to be near fresh air. Uh, but nowhere if it starts raining, it'll pull up right there. It's not going to come up. It won't come down and come back up. It'll catch in all those small rocks. I should be fine right here. Let me set up. Okay, there we go. I got the 15. I don't think I'm gonna need it. It's pretty warm in here. But I got I brought this real thin beef bivy in the net because there's a lot of cave spiders in here. They're all over the place. Look at theirs. I'm not showing up. They're everywhere. Little red spiders, brown spiders. They're all over the place. They hunt at night, so I'm going to. Uh, Get in there and zip that up real quick. So here I am, using a natural shelter. Actually, it's man-made, but it's made over 100 years ago. Over 150 years. Spiders all over there. Over 150 years ago, I think. And uh, solid rock. I'm not really worried about a cave-in. If it's my time, it's my time. If the big one hits. Big one hits. Not too worried about that. Jam pack, my boots, fuel, water, hat, net.
head for that thing. I got my uh, tripod there. A little alarm in case something big tries to come through. I have my knife right here. Not that it's going to do much good, but... I don't want to be a hot pocket. Okay, we're inside the net. The net sits from the inside. And then it cinches up a little cord. A little bungee cord here. Around your waist. Small stuff could get in it if they tried. But it'll keep the majority out. So I'm going to try to get some sleep. I was beat driving up that hill. I get in. I'll try to get some sleep, so more in the morning. This is weird. Rarely have I ever been in such complete darkness. I can't see anything. It is weird. Well, it's the first light out there. I had a good night's sleep. I started hearing birds chirping out from out in front of the cave. And uh I heard a lot of fluttering. I heard bats coming in. A couple of bats just flew above me and went back. Now at night in the silence of the night I could hear water dripping in the rear of this cave I could hear all kinds of planes going over through the mouth of the cave I could hear uh, stuff moving in the brush outside the cave all those noises were echoed through this cave it was kind of creepy but <laughs> but I had a good night's sleep this bivy works, it works pretty well, especially with this bug net. So this is what it was like last night. My one candle watt power. Not so bad. But as you can see back there, it's first light. So I'm going to get out, go for a hike, find a nice place to make breakfast. Nice first light. Didn't rain. Really moist. I feel that really wet. Back in here. Packed up. I did see something bouncing around back here on the cave floor. Go check it out. I think it's a frog. Might have been a mouse.
This is the dripping I was hearing last night. Let me get packed up. I got a better light. A more powerful light. I'll show you the back of the key. slows down but as you can see by the white stuff it's continuous and stalactites small ones but they're there see it would have been cool to spend a night back there but I wasn't sure about the air the fresh air supply Besides that, if uh, a bear or a mountain lion did decide to come in, I'm close to the mouth of the cave, I stand a chance. It might walk past me, 
or in the struggle, <laughs> I can get past it. But way back here, you have to merge to the dead end of the cave. So I can get out of here and get some breakfast going. Go for a walk in the fresh air. My hands are frozen. Got to this area, just spinning my boots. Couldn't get past it. We go up around through that bush, through that yucca. My hands are frozen. I'm back on the trail now. Not far from the trailhead either. Oh. The river is extremely low in this area. Give you an idea. You used to go from this rock here to that sand out there. Right here, you see about waist deep. You do excellent trout fishing. They're small, natural, but right there. This plastic microbite spatula spork. This is the fry pan to my. Mini Trangia and the Turner. I just put this on it here, hold it together to keep it from scratching the fry pan. Uh, Sog, steel pot inside, magnesium striker, measuring cup, some soup. I always carry it soup with me. And a hot dog, some onions, and some bell pepper. Uh, this is the 10 centimeter, I believe. Batchstoves.com. We're baking later. I have two eggs. Titanium cup. I have some cornbread there. I'm going to make some cornbread before I leave these mountains today. For the ride home with some coffee. I have my fuel. Alcohol. An orange. Batchstoves.com. Uh, let's see, that's about it. Some salt, pepper, butter, butter, honey, some matches, coffee, iced tea, uh, peach tea. And uh, use the sog, cut up that hot dog, and get started.
get you some water for my coffee. Come over. The MRS kettle, like I say, is going to be for baking with this later on. Let me get back to my truck. I'll bake something while I'm packing up. Uh, coffee's on. Got these vents open for cooking. For baking, close them off. Got a sm smaller, more steady flame. I think can burn up to 40 minutes, I believe, for the full reservoir, which is about an ounce and a half. But there's the outcome of my eggs. Eggs, hot dog, onion, bell pepper, a little bit of oil, complement to the gray goose. Uh, fresh orange, some coffee. I'm all dressed up with nowhere to go. Walking with a go light over my shoulder. Top to go. The frost melting off of that plant there. See the steam. About two years ago, I was camped down in this little canyon down here. It was when I first got that two-man Terra Nova and that lady from England sent it to me. And uh, I heard some crunching on the gravel. Opened the door and looked out and two deer, big. One had a big rack <laughs> of horns. And, uh, <laughs> and walked past, shot up in the canyons there. They walked right past me. I don't remember if I got my film or not. I have to look back at that video. So I took and mixed a third of a cup of milk, which I brought in this. It was cold enough last night, it didn't go bad. Two tablespoons of butter. I used two packs of Colonel Sanders butter and an egg. I mixed it in my coffee cup. I'm going to take the Grey Goose oil, grease this up, put that in here, use that baking ring, Amaris kettle, and I'm going to dry bake some cornbread. Okay, it's on. It's going. The vents are closed. Should take about 15 minutes, 17 minutes or so. Pull it off and let it set for about five minutes while it's setting. I'll boil me some more water. Yes, look at that. Cornbread and coffee. I brought two coffees. I drank all my coffee. It's one of the local prospectors over here. What's your name? Mario. Mario. He uh, gave me some coffee in return. I'm going to give him some of this cornbread. Oh, grab a slice, man. Thank you. Try it out. That's good. It's really good. One egg, two packs of butter, two packs of honey. Some milk. Nice. Batchstoves.com. Link in the details below. Yeah, so, met a new friend, Mario. He'll be joining me on my 
Uh, he's staying here for a few weeks, a month. So he'll be joining us on the overnight at Heaton. Almost 11 o'clock on Christmas Eve afternoon. Thanks for watching. Sucker gummy, right here. Watch, the tick. Right there's where the tick got me. Somehow, somehow got in my shirt right here. So when my arm was brushing past, I was feeling like there was a, a sticker or something. Turned out to be this little bastard. But if you look at him, I looked him real close under a, a magnifying glass. The head is still attached, and he's still alive. The head's still attached, so as long as I clean it out with some alcohol, I should be fine. But meanwhile, this guy's gonna be toasted alive. Those coals are still hot. I was roasting some macadamia nuts. Burn, baby, burn. Bastard on fire! <laughs> Even if he gets out of that, which I highly doubt, I gave him a pretty good pinch, stunned him. I set, I set fingers on stun. <clears throat> set him on stun three times. <clears throat> Roll them up. Bottom vents closed, top vents closed. Sayonara. I hope my blood tasted good because it costs you your life. <laughs>